play in every single game. We'll see if LGD decide to lean into that style as well. As the band's coming on through and it's straight towards Jackie up here with Illusion and Draven band away. And then Meteor gets that respect ban on the Kindred as you would expect. Look Munch, because we have decades starting for the top lane of LGD for tonight, I have done a bit of digging into his past games and he did come from the LDL playing for WE. He didn't find much success, but looking at his entire champion pool, he has a bit of games on that Renekton champion. And I would love to see something like that being brought into patch 13.11 because Renekton did receive a slight buff where a cooldown reduction to the dash and the ultimate, where he also does that bit of extra damage. And I believe Meteor, he also plays something like that in Italy. So just have that extra bit of cheese and catch top esports off guard would be the way to go because I feel like playing standard up against top esports I mean we saw the difference between Haicha and Rookie when it came to those uh, instinctual plays and having that engage onto the enemy team where Haicha maybe something like that Annie could work for them in this game too I'll have to see there you go taken off the board you'd expect Ari to be a priority with uh, LGD having that buy you don't really want to play up against the buy Ari combo and you could always just go for a Wukong, but you could save Wukong for third and go for a priority in one of the other lanes, perhaps. Go for a... I mean, based on game number one, top lane might be the priority. We kind of just ignored <laughs> so bottom lane in the first draft. But yeah, the Aphelia is locked in for Jackalo. Not too surprised. We do still have the champions like Asante, which is going to be a great blind up against top esports. But being wayward, I'm assuming he can just pick something like the Scion or Gragas as a response. We'll have to wait and see. Or even the Gwen if he wants to yeah, go for those hard-winning... Yeah, maybe we finally see the wayward carry. Yeah, isolated matchup. But it is going to be the uh, potential Zyra Khan lock-in for Envy and Jinjiao in this game too once again. But being the Aphelios, he does have a lot less mobility when it comes to the laning phase and is susceptible to those engages from Jinjiao. So hopefully, even with the Vi getting locked in for meter, we see that early game aggression out of LGD for this game too. Kind of an interesting spot for top to be in in the draft as well, where it's like, like, do you prioritize Mark getting that Nautilus to have the same matchup as the previous game? Lulu. Apparently not. They go for the Lulu instead. I wasn't sure if it would be this or the, or the Wukong would have been the other option, right? To get yourself a good jungler for the matchup. Uh, but Lulu going to be locked in for Mark. So not prioritizing, not prioritizing that Nautilus in the slightest. I've always thought Mark was a really good enchanter player ever since spring and that's definitely been his strong point where the engaged supports were a little bit on and off but coming to summer he's really stabled out and he's introduced that champion into his pool as well but the Lulu something that you can always trust in Mark's hand and having a lot of that anti-dive ability especially just looking at LGD's composition so far so it's gonna uh, really challenge how the Meteor and Jinjiao takes those fights in particular but we already see the mid lane is getting taken off the Annie is something that I believe Hydra has played the most not finding too much success, su success but it is still his comfort. However, top lane, still a very big question because I feel like Wayward, with, depending on how Tien wants to look for his jungle, something like the Sejuani is still up and available, and that allows Wayward to play Jax or Gwen for this game too. I'm really curious what High Chow's gonna go for as well, because the Jace is still available. And I feel like that's top esports, and specifically Rookie saying, look, I beat your Jace in game number one. Are you happy to go for it again? Because Jace is the only other champion available that High Chow's played this split. And we'll see what he's gonna end up going for. Top esports though, looking towards jungle, looking towards top lane. And that Poppy, most likely in the jungle, but there's a, it's been sprinklings of top here around the world. I've been a really big fan of Poppy in the LPL so far because of how many team compositions or at least uh, teams enjoy such heavy dive into this meta. So it's really going to reduce the angles that Meteor and Tinja oh are going God, to be able to it. find. Oh, it's just Sorry going to be I've, Jax. I've I swear Wayward is just going to lock in <laughs> Jax and play with this Poppy. But maybe not. Come on, just lock one of them in. Yeah, I, sorry, I shouldn't have talked about the hover. I've baited us both at this point, and he's just going to go for a tank, isn't he? Mar uh, Wayward, sorry, is fully on tank duty this split. No carries to be seen. I was so ready for that trend of That would have been so much fun to watch. But here we go. Our compositions are locked in. Kitty, how are we feeling about this one so far, especially for LGD with the Syndra in that mid lane? 
I love the Cinder pick. We see a lot of those uh, top ranking teams having the Cinder pick because you have that range and of course the huge item spike when you do pick up that Shadow Flame and up against something like this Lulu and Poppy, the shields that they provide when it comes to these team fights is going to really bite them back. Uh, probably not the most ideal way. However, my eyes are still on to Tian on this Poppy because we saw that this pick up against Weibo Gaming, he was able to force numbers advantage by just landing these ultimates onto two, three people. And he did amazing for that team composition. So we'll have to wait and see because Top Esports, they locked in a very standard composition. They want to play front to back and have Jackie Love as their main star carry. <laughs> We've heard this story before, haven't we? <laughs> Jackie Love is the star carry. Who could have predicted this one? The Aphelios locked in, and it feels like one of the, if not the strongest carry. Honestly, I feel like in the LPL at least, in my mind, anecdotally, Aphelios has been the strongest carry, even above Zeri uh, so far. We'll see if that continues, and we'll see if that's even true. That is just my personal like experience as opposed to anything statistical. We'll see what Jackie Love can do. Because I'm looking towards Rookie as well. He's got that Ari again. Happy to just blind pick that. He looked dominant in game number one, having that as a pick into the Jace. Now he's going to play it into the Syndrome. We'll see how he does. His top esports trying to get cheeky with it. Jackie Love pretending he's caught out. Does Jin Chao face check? No. Walks away. Drops an emote. And top esports level one will be denied. Yeah, so far so good for Top Esports as uh, Decade is in big trouble. Q3 flashed away from, but Wayward chasing for more. Decade. Luckily, the minion wave is there. He can hop away to safety, but it will mean Top Esports get themselves this Herald. Drake spawning on the bottom side of the map as well. And you can imagine they make a beeline down there, but it is Meteor to start it off for now. Top Esports perhaps look for a dive on the top oh, side top instead. Chow will walk away, good scout of the week, but Rookie's not going to let him get away with that one. Everfrost wide, Charm is not though, Tien charging on in for more. The slow is in play, the knockup is there. And that is first blood at 16 minutes for Tien. It's answered though, Decade grabs himself a kill of his own. Yeah, Hachow, you shouldn't be walking into that topside jungle without any vision control. You already have your own jungle starting the dragon for your own team. And I just feel like that was a bit of a misstep from the mid laner. Good polymorph. Knock up onto Jackie Love here. Everyone hitting him. But the Moonlight Vigil was separate. He actually stays alive. 2v3. Everything burn from Top Esports to keep Jackie Love alive. But keep him alive, they do. Decade looking for a tower here. But here comes reinforcements. Decade, he's gone too no deep. Flash. Thought he had the 1v1. But he does not have the opportunity. Rookie forced the flash over the wall here. Decade surely will go down on this one. Knocked back again. Rookie's just going to recall, no, will help finish the kill off. Tien actually has to be enlisted just to finish the job off. And that's two kills both into the pocket of Tien now. It was a struggle, but at the very end, we were able to get there. But the scary thought about the Aphelios Munch is it was a 2v3. And that's without Poppy in the equation protecting the Aphelios. And they were able to win that mid skirmish we'll have another look at this replay because hai chao not having the flash available rookie having really good instinct and just committing every single spell onto the syndra and also securing that charm which was uh, set up by that everfrost i mean that is just first blood at 16 minutes like you said the lgd making their own return play does mean the kill going to this nara's hand i want it's very rare to see a Vice sitting on 0kp at 20 minutes into the game i feel like lgd they need to start forcing things on these side oh, lanes wait, wayward wait. Getting a bit too greedy. See if they can manage to make it happen. Wayward and Mark looking to clear vision here over the wall. They all go. And Mark is gone. Will he go for it? Buffers the CC here. And now TP coming out as the all out used onto Meteor. They're all Dodges here. away from some of the damage from Haichao. The knockback is there. And Wayward's played it beautifully. Rookie's here. And Jackie Love in with the damage as well. Wayward, the beautiful bait, pays off. He's like. A worm on the end of a fishing line. And boy, have they caught a big fish today. High Chow will fall to Rookie as Mark steals the kill. But well, that's three for Top Esports and a Baron to boot. Second another look is it, it looked like it should have just been a pick onto Wayward. Like, and the minimap. Top Esports are nowhere near, but the second they show, everyone charges. 
Yeah, Wayward bought so much time for top esports and reinforcements to come in. I mean, Rookie was also trying to match this Nar, but forcing the TP out of this Ari as well, and then having a 4v5 just meant everything was going right for the side of top esports. Shaki left, left untouched due to all the engages, tools getting used onto this Cassante it meant that this Aphelios was having the time of his life. Rookie doing Rookie things, flash timing and securing that kill onto Haicha as well. But LDD, you need to back up towards Wayward. He is not expecting to the gank right here. He's about to say mini oh, nah. Jackie love the target here. Stunned up and will be taken down. Envy with the shutdown there gets the bonus gold as Mark has to just flash over the wall and leg it. Trying to look for an angle onto Jackie Love. It had been a flash engage from Jin Jiao as Jackie Love wasn't able to react to this. It wasn't a flash engage from Jin Jiao, but it was a Meteor queuing out of vision and ultimate. Six. He got it! Top Esports Burger flipping the Baron and Meteor even flashes out the top side of the pit. He doesn't even die for it. And now, looking to stop the recalls because Decade is on the side lane push. He's got Baron to work with. Meteor sacrifices himself, but the ports have been stopped and Meteor is looking to end the game. LGD, have they actually done this one? Jaculum protecting his team's recalls. How often do you see the AD carry putting his life on the line? Jaculum? Step four with the Inferno Moonlight Vigil and Decade forced away top esports keep their cool and keep themselves in the game but lgd absolute heroics coming out jackie love and tian want a little bit more but they're in a 2v3 right now unless mark gets over here quick jackie love you've got to be careful mate this is full jackie love territory and that is full jackie love damage he giveth he taketh today He's on the giving oh, side of Decade. things. Decade wants to get in. Nar against the wall, but the rest of the team isn't here to follow up. The stunt comes out. Jagalove has so much damage with the red and white weapons. Charging forward as Rookie finds a charm as well. And top esports, just when they lose Baron, just when they're losing their base, they find their way back in the game. For top esports Nexus, Jagalove has to do everything here. Envy on the back foot needs to carry, needs to be the one to step on up. But the Moonlight Vigil, only just wide here. I think Meteor managed to get in and clear the wave, or maybe it was Envy's feathers, I'm not sure. But Top Esports halted in their tracks. Meteor potentially looking for a flank here. What is he looking for? Didn't really have the follow up that you so desired. Sinjal just having a really big struggle on this Rakan, trying to get onto the Aphelios. As you see, LGD no follow up whatsoever from the Syndra. And I feel like this Nar engage was initially decent as it was a 4v3, but Jackie Love having the red and white, also a really great polymorph from Mark, yeah. just meant this Nar was going to get deleted instantly. Yeah, Tien knocking Meteor away as well. So it's not even a fair fight at that point. Decade left alone. They're going for Here the inhibitor go. for the side of LGD. They want to stop this Meteor <laughs> too late. A valiant effort from Meteor, but it's not going to be enough. Tries to stop the ports now. The GA will buy some time. This Decade will get the inhib. Jackie Love in a 2v1 here. We'll mark alongside of the sustain. Is there though, and he actually gets them. He charges forward. Your carries mean nothing here. Aphelios Lulu, Jackie Love and Mark. They are synonymous. The triple kill comes through, and the rest of the team aced by top esports. Munch, I blink, and Jackie Love gets a triple kill. Amazing polymorph by Mark and stopping all the DPS from Envy on the Zaya. Now waiting for the wave to slowly push into this middle lane, and they're gonna look for a clean 2 0 coming into oh, this day. Nice. Drops the turret for the teleport from Rookie, and they'll finish the job. Top esports. It was not a clean game, it was not an easy game. But it's a win, and that's all that matters. 2-0 at the end of the day, and again, another heartbreak for LGD. They were so close to winning through a decade on this NAR with the whole breaker, even a flame horizon, which we barely see in the LPL. I mean, he was trying his little heart out, but unfortunately, when it came to these team fights, the Cephelios was just way too ahead, and Jackie Love having Mark on something like the Lulu, enabling him in these team fights, and just flashing forward, doing as much damage as he wished for.